Hi everybody, Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Shining Star Stencil from Technique Junkies to create a couple of really cute backgrounds using Distress Oxide inks and a blending brush. So I'm going to be putting the ink on these two pieces at the same time and uh, so that I don't have to do it and then clean it and then do it again. So uh, let me just show you. So I'm going to start with Faded Jeans. And when I do blending, I start off the page. Make sure you use a nice smooth cardstock. You don't want something with too much tooth when you're blending ink. And I'm just working on my Tim Holtz glass mat. I love this glass mat for working. I think it, <clears throat> I think it works really, really well. So I'm just going to get a nice one-third application of uh, faded jeans, distress oxide faded jeans. I do not sell these, but other people do. <laughs> a lot of people do. Okay, so I'm gonna, going to do this one now. Again, I'm gonna do the top. I've actually done these in a different order on some other pieces, and I like it just as much, um, just as well, but uh, this time I decided to go Faded Jeans first, Blueprint Sketch, and then Mermaid Lagoon. So that's one third, and I'm just going to gently wipe this off. Um, this happens to be a damp paper towel. Um, that I'm wiping this brush off on. And I know when you look at this, that looks like foam, but it's actually a brush. You can see the bristles in there. So I'm gonna wipe that off. And now I'm going to be doing blueprint sketch. I'm gonna go right on there, start off the edge, work inward. It helps to start off the edge because you don't get finger marks or brush marks then. And when I do my brushes, you see how my finger's on top here? That allows me to change the pressure, make it uh, more full of pressure or less. Um, depending on how much ink I want to add and then ease up as I get towards the edges. Okay, so that's that one. Go back to this one. And I'm going to turn these both around. And I'm going to use the uh, Mermaid Lagoon. I'm just going to wipe this off gently again, just to get some of that purpley blue off of there. And then I'm just going to go to the Mermaid Lagoon and do the bottom. So that'll be that. So the first way I'm going to decorate this is I'm going to take a paper towel and put this on top. And this is the easiest way. Because they're just stress oxides, they are very reactive with water. And I am going to actually put this down. Now, yeah. So this time I'm using mixed metals. This is mixed metal shimmering bliss. Shimmering bliss has a lot of mica in it. You can see it pooled at the bottom. You need to mix that up by rolling it between your hands just gently and then what you do is just go right over the top here and I'm just going to gently give this a spritz without moving the stencil and just give this a little wipe down. I like this mixed metals. It's all the colors mixed together plus a little bronze in there. Um, it's got this beigey beautiful look. Now let's lift that straight off. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. The, uh, the mixed metals reacted with the distress oxides to give us that beautiful look. I just think that's gorgeous. So we'll turn that into a car. We'll just set it aside to dry for a minute too. It's not very wet because we didn't put that much on there. It's just beautiful. So you'll see that made as a card. So that's the first way. I'm just gonna clean this off and give my stencil a good cleaning and I'll come right back. Okay, so what I should have mentioned when we were working on that, um, and I didn't, is that these are five of the things called toppers. The mixed metals, which is here, is one of the things we call toppers in for the Shimmering Bliss. The toppers go on top of other things where you don't necessarily want to add color, but you want to add some beautiful shimmering loveliness. So we have iridescent, which is uh, more or less clear, but it has a, a very iridescent look to it. Mixed metals, which has a little beigey look to it, and it's beautiful for things like on top of ink where you just want a subtle shade of color. 
Dazzle, which has more of a pearly look, just Dazzle is just beautiful. Gold, which leaves this fine, fine layer of gold, just like specks of gold. It's very beautiful. And then silver. Now, silver has probably the most coverage to it, but I find myself using this all the time when I want to create things like silver paper. I do offer these as a kit, and I'll flash that up on the screen and have it at the end so you can take a look at that. Um, but these are the five toppers. So that's what I used on that piece right there. Okay, so this is the second piece that we made. So what I'm going to do with this is again, take the stencil, put the stencil over the top of this, and then I'm going to take Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo by Thermoweb, and I am going to, with a uh, palette knife, and I'm just going to put this through, going to put this through the stencil. I'm going to hold it firmly, and I'm going to butter it on, and I'm going to use a very, very fine, um, light light touch with this um, you what you want to do is get it into the holes without pulling it out of the holes and I'll show you what I mean in a second so if you can see I'm just gonna put a little bit more is better than a little bit less on this it does take longer to dry if you have more but it is um, it, it just will turn out a little bit better for you when you put it down be careful not to move the stencil and the and the transfer gel duo really does hold it in place because it is like a glue. So when you do that, you just peel that right off. You see how perfect it is. A couple of things you wanna do. You wanna set this to the side. You can already see that's going to be gorgeous. And you want to wash your stencil and your palette knife. So I'm gonna go do that and let that air dry for a little bit and I'll be right back at you. So I'm back and this is the piece I did just a, a, a little bit ago. I, you can see that it's still wet. So I'm gonna keep that set to the side. And I did this piece earlier that is here. I did this piece earlier and it is dry all the way. You can see it's dry. And you can see even just with the duo, it's going to be spectacular. But I think you can see, I mentioned that I did the colors in a different or order before. They're both just really pretty, but that's how I did them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these with foil. Now, the reason this is called Transfer Gel Duo is because you have two ways that you can use this. You can use this with or without heat. And since a lot of people don't have heat, they think they can't use foil, and you can with stencils. So what we're doing is we're taking the Technique Junkies Foil Stardust, and you can use any color you want, but I just decided I wanted to use Stardust because it's so pretty. And this foil is four inches by four inches. It's really four plus inches, but I say four inches just to be conservative. It's usually about four and an eighth by 25 feet. So if you're doing four by six cards or four by five and a half cards, you can get 50 cards out of one row. It's a lot of, lot of um, foil on there. So what I did was I just cut a piece that is the size of my card. And when you cut, you wanna try not to get a big crunch in it like I just did. And you're just gonna put it over the top. So I actually made it bigger than I needed to. Okay, foil side up always. Otherwise, if you don't have it foil side is up, you're not gonna get the beautiful color. And then we're going to put it through my big shot. Okay, so, so I'm gonna put it on tab two with a B plate with an uncut. I'm using a, a plate here that doesn't have cut marks in it. If your plate has cut marks, put a piece of paper on top there and then just run this through. This is very flat. So, quick little sandwich there to run through. If you don't feel like you're getting enough pressure on there, you can always add another piece of paper just to increase the pressure. And every piece of paper you put on there, you're gonna get a little bit more pressure. I like to feel my pressure. I like to feel the pressure I'm putting on there. So then you just lift it off, put your big shot aside, And just go ahead. I, I like to burnish, just a fine little burnishing here. Just make sure everything's in place. It's been put through, and I'm gonna peel this ready for the reveal. It is so, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Look at how pretty that is. So we have all that beautiful, foily loveliness on the, on the cardstock, and it's got that great 
shimmery, stardusty, iridescent look to it. You could use any foil with this. Um, I just happened to pick the stardust foil out. So putting things over top of these, they're so pretty. But that is our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. This, these are very easy ways to make the stencil shine. This is the Shining Star Stencil from Technique Junkies. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye now.